We can alert you to register for our new emergency alert system, SCP Alerts. Signing up is easy. So text SCP Alerts to 888-777 to get our messages. From weather-related updates and emergencies. To evacuations and more. Sign up for SCP Alerts. Because our first priority is keeping you safe. In a natural disaster, severe weather, or local emergency, we want you to know what to do. Through SCP Alerts, we can help you be prepared and stay safe. Text SCP Alerts to 888-777. When you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Sign up for SCP Alerts today. Charles Parish website has a new look and a new name. Welcome to stcharlesparish.gov, the new and improved home for all things St. Charles Parish. For the past 10 months, the Public Information Office has worked with Granicus to overhaul the existing website and transformed it from top to bottom to create a more user-friendly and efficient experience. Our new site features improved navigation, as you hover over the menu items, you will see all the pages that the site has to offer. When you scroll down, the menu stays fixed at the top of the screen so that any time you need to use it, it is right there. The service finder is intended to make navigation and decision making less time consuming for you. When you click the service finder, determine what you want to do by clicking the drop down arrow. Narrow your selection in the next column and then click Learn More to find exactly what you are looking for. You can use this feature to adopt a pet, pay your water bill, learn more about what the parish has to offer, find employment, and more. You can also use our new and improved Smart Search tool. Once you search a term, you can filter your search down by department, content type, and more to get exactly what you are looking for. Our homepage features some of the most visited pages on our website. Be sure to explore news, the calendar, SCP alerts, SCP TV, and our social media sites as well. Analytics show more people visiting our site on a mobile device than ever before. That is why it was crucial that we create a user-friendly experience for both desktop and mobile users. To achieve this, we now use large buttons on all of our pages, making finding information, forms, and other links easier as well. Additionally, all pages on the site are responsive and viewable on mobile devices. The new St. Charles Parish website was redesigned with our residents in mind. Come and experience stcharlesparish.gov today. For decades, our history attracted millions of visitors to our region. We're ready to welcome millions more. It's time we represent ourselves with a name that reflects the unique experiences visitors enjoy out here in the river parishes of Louisiana. Taste the culinary battle of Creole versus Cajun in every bite. 
bask in the glow of blazing bonfires on the levee. Feel the thrill of our lakes, bayous, and mighty river. Get up close and personal with our swamp's oldest inhabitant. Six hundred uh, number that was on the slide. I don't, don't recall it off the top of my head. I guess I could look. Um, but at Yale, and they don't live with you anymore. But it's summer break, and they want to come home. You're gonna have to figure that out because they weren't with you at the time of disaster. So there are some exceptions that we make. Don't misunderstand. There's some exceptions. Um, if you have a child, obviously we're not gonna make you have put your child somewhere else. Um, if you have to care for an uh, aging parent, right, if you become a caregiver or something happens to you and you need a caregiver. But all of that is worked through. It is case worked and case managed. But let me say on the record, we are not taking anyone who is currently not in the state of Louisiana, wasn't in the state of Louisiana, um, wherever they may have been. And bringing them into a group site. We, there are no nefarious uh, hidden agendas. Um, we are trying to house the people from St. Charles Parish. And uh, another th point, and I don't know if it was covered already, but uh, campers, uh, people with disabilities mm -hmm. can't really stay in a camper. Correct. And so the need for the mobile units was also because of people with disabilities. So we do have units that are built to a higher standard than the ADA. They're called UFAS, Uniform Federal Accessibility Standard. And we do have those units. So when we're talking about building a group site and knowing that need, knowing who has an access or functional need, I need to know, are you hearing impaired? Are you uh, visually impaired? Are you a, do you use a walker? Do you use a wheelchair? Uh, do you have bariatric issues? There are so many questions that we ask, and we go through that to ensure that we are meeting that applicant's needs. Parish President Jew. I knew I'd remember that question. Um, can you talk really quickly about how many other parishes have established a FEMA group site or, the, or FEMA group sites that are in progress? And what parishes are still in that process of? Sure. So our hardest hit parishes um, are our southern parishes. I mean, it just took a huge impact. We have not been able to locate a commercial park in St. Charles Parish that um, is willing to uh, work with us or for whatever reason. So... Group sites are our option here. We have Terrebonne, we have Lafouche, we have St. John the Baptist, um, uh, St. James, uh, let me see, Pla oh yeah, Plaquemines Parish. Um, thank Jeff you, John, for that one. Jefferson. Dif I didn't say Jefferson yet? Jefferson. Um, we even have, now in Tanchapahoa Parish, we have been able to find sufficient number of commercial sites. Livingston Parish, sufficient number of commercial sites. St. Helena Parish. So I don't have a need for a group site there. When I get down here almost below um, 12 is where I start to see the greatest impacts, and that's where we're having to really consider um, our group sites. And, and you're right, President Jewell, they all feel the same way. Uh, we don't want your, your residents and... We don't want to send you any of ours, so we answer that question every time. Councilman Dufresne? One quick question. Why did it take eight months to come up with this? Why didn't you guys come to us like once we knew a month and a half after the storm, we, we had the same amount of need then, if not more, than we have now? We, we it, started looking for group sites as soon as the direct housing program was approved in September. We, we started with contractors out driving the roads in all of the approved parishes, and we started having conversations with these gentlemen over here about what might and what might not work. Um, and I, I don't know, I can't remember how many proposed sites 
we brought forward and that they have suggested to us that we might look at to make this work. We're, we're getting down to the end. It's just that now is when we've been asked to come and talk to you. So let, let me just, uh, I can clarify too. So we've had plenty of conversations with FEMA. Me and John have had some pretty heated phone call discussions on on this subject and again on why why does it have to be this way? Why can't we just build these people houses since we're spending so much money? Um, <clears throat> but we've gotten to the point now, like John's saying, we've looked at other properties that have were formerly uh, trailer or mobile home zone sites that already have infrastructure in, not owned by the parish, owned by a corporation. They've been working with those, those folks to try to make this happen. So there's been a lot of conversations making it happen. But as far as the timeline goes, we're about the same or a little bit behind every other parish as far as when these things are being built. The reason we're here now is because they've gotten to the point on these specific sites where they're sending out the EHPs, these environmental uh, assessment or the EAs, the environmental assessments of these sites. Obviously, when that came out, the residents now are saying, hey, what, what's going on with this? So we wanted to give an option for the residents to come and voice their concerns in addition to being able to, um, in addition to be able, being able to submit, uh, you know, their concerns through the expedited environmental assessment. I want to thank the residents, the superintendent, the sheriff, and FEMA reps um, for coming out to the meeting. So we're going to have a motion, and a, um, a motion and a second is needed to adjourn. Motion by Councilwoman Fonseca and second by Councilwoman Billings. Please cast your votes. That passes. Meeting is adjourned. communities. Jefferson and parish officials couldn't be happier about the donation. This is a great addition to Parkhead Park. Uh, between a collection